G'day there. In this video, I would like to show you how I'm going to be attaching my stepper motors for my 3D printer to my threaded rod, of which there will be two that will be responsible for the driving the vertical axes, or well, the one vertical axis lifting the boom up and down essentially. So, I've drilled a hole in the end of my rod, and I will be attaching a grub screw for the flat spot on that shaft. Possibly with a big nut there to help give it a bit of extra meat for the grub screw. And that will be doing the turning. Now this one wasn't ideal, there's a little bit of play there. I think I probably could grub screw it dead centre. And I will be trying that before I do it again. But I have left my rod long enough that I can afford to have two or three attempts at this. And I did learn a lot with this one. Doing this one, all I did, and so I'm just moving my camera was get two of these, one of these skateboard bearings and I bolted it on with a nut on each side just near the end of my rod and I put the other end of my rod in my trusty cordless drill here and put the drill on the floor and I stepped on the trigger with my foot and I just pushed a drill bit down into the top of it by hand rather than spinning the drill bit which is almost impossible to get it square with a hand drill I don't have a fancy drill press or anything like that got my drill and my grinder and that's about it for power tools. I have a welder that I'm learning how to use. It's a cheap one. Um, so yeah, I spun the rod and ran the drill bit into the end. Now I did encounter some problems. I did have a bit of problems getting a centre hole in the end of the rod to begin with. It's very hard to get it exactly precise. I do have some digital caliper gauges there and I was, you know, I got it within um, 0.0 two of a millimetre or so but it wasn't spot on and a little bit of wobble on this thing is going to kill the whole project so it's got to be perfect. Um, so what I ended up doing is threading one of these long nuts halfway onto the end and then I used a drill bit like so that fits inside long nut really neatly which is way too big for the hole I want but I just used it to do the very tip in just to get myself a countersink hole and that works out quite well but it was all a bit wobbly when I was doing the drilling and stuff so I've rigged up this bit of galvanised pipe and there's a threaded rod all the way the length of that and bearings at each end and it spins really smooth and I've already sent hold the end of it you can see there how smooth that spins so now I'm going to do a little bit of drilling in the end and just show you how I'm doing it. I'm not going to drill the whole thing out, it does take a good hour or so, um, but I'll do a minute or so for you, just so you can see how it's done. You will need some kind of lubricant, I'm just using spray on lanolin oil, um, lanolin is particularly good for this, it tends to seek out the hot spots and keep your drill bit cool, stops it from going blunt, yeah, it seems to cut faster than any other lubricant I've tried, that cutting compound, you could try that. Otherwise, just anything slippery, some sort of mineral oil, preferably motor oil or grease or something like that. So, and the other issue I had with my first hole was I actually tried drilling with this drill bit. Oh, no, this one, which is labelled as a 5mm bit, but um, it's actually about 20 microns, 0.02 of a millimetre smaller than the shaft on my motor, which is really ideal. Um, it should give you a nice, neat, snug fit, but if you're just not quite straight and square with it, you will drill your hole a tiny bit bigger. And I ended up with a couple of microns of play there, it wasn't any good. So I um, pilot hole down with um, a drill bit that's a tiny bit smaller. This one's 4.6 millimetres rather than 4.8. And um, that was too tight a hole for the motor to fit in, so then I just reamed it out lightly, really quickly with this one, and it made a really snug fit. So let's see, can you see there? So I've got my drill bit. I just hold it in my big pliers like this because I can squeeze really well with lots of leverage and my hand doesn't get sore. I spray my drill bit. A bit of lube. Helps keep everything cool and running smoothly. I put my foot on the trigger of the drill. I just squeeze down gently with my thumb, not too hard, but you need to apply some pressure. So you can get you can see that. Mm. 
And you do want to keep an eye on keeping as straight and square as you can. So my battery just went flat in my camera and that drill bit was the blunt one. I now have the sharp drill bit which is pre-lubed and I'll do a quick bit more drilling so you can see how it goes. It actually does work reasonably fast. I also have my safety glove on. So you can see there, that's doing quite a nice hole. It does take a while. Um, you do also want to be a bit gentle on the um, bearing in your drill. You don't want to go reefing it around too much by the handle. Um, I'm starting to notice a tiny bit of play in my drill now. I'm not sure if it was there before, if it's just because I can feel it more with the big long pipe. But um, I am being very gentle with it. Try not to destroy your drill doing this. Um, so that's about it. Do it yourself hand lathe. Um, I'll come back in a little while when I've drilled this out properly. Okay, back again. Been drilling away now for probably 40 odd minutes. And I did stop for a coffee. And you can see there, I've made quite some progress. Just put that down because it's a bit hard on the drill. Put that drill bit in for a guide and you can see it's quite wobbly. This is the bit I've been using to drill with. So you do end up making a hole bigger than the drill bit. Quite a lot of play there. And I got a good 10, maybe 13, 14 millimeters in there. And it's actually still just a little bit too small for my stepper motor shaft. So that's perfect, and it is really centred, and it's been going quite well. I've been keeping the lubricant up. At no point have I been able to um, take the drill out and grab the end and burn myself. It's never been hot enough to cause a burn. If you can burn yourself with the end of your drill bit, you're drilling too hard and too hot. Okay, so that's probably about as deep as I want. I might go a tiny bit deeper, but I'm going to get onto the other drill bit now with the 5mm bit, and I'm just going to ream it out. Shouldn't take long. Go that way. And you can see very quickly if you're a bit offline, it does wobble like that. I'm about halfway down now. Little spray. Probably a bit excessive there. Spray. Now I'm not pressing very hard at all with my thumb. There. Uh, all right, I'm nearly down. Looks like I'm a bit jammed. I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, back again. I got unjammed. Turns out I was right at the end of the hole. And um, that only took a couple of seconds to free it up. So now what I've got. Really neat, smooth, five millimeter hole. Uh, it's 
stepper motor and hopefully that is an absolutely perfect fit that is much better than the first one so I will use the first one to experiment with the grub screw and so if I end up destroying it or it's not quite square that's just an awesome fit I know I can do this again using my homemade cordless drill powered hand lathe I'm thinking you could probably use this for other things too once you bolt something on the end there Okay, thanks for watching.